Hey, it's April 8th. That makes it a Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. This is the Roger Williams Media Minute. So today I wanted to talk with you about a couple of different things. Uh, had a great time this weekend at Cammy's uh, birthday party, my good friend Cammy. Ran into Evo Terra and his wife Sheila, hadn't seen them in a while. And we started talking, of course, about zombies and post apocalyptic futures. And of course, Hugh Howie came up. I just finished reading the Shift series, which was the second part of his Silo Saga, which is about the future where humans have screwed up the earth to the point where we have to move into silos under the ground. And he writes this really fascinating uh, tale just about how people start having to act and treat and manage and deal with each other when you're basically buried alive. And uh, it's not hard science fiction, so I really do recommend it for anybody who enjoys reading. You can uh, go to Hugh's site right here. Um, and he's also got another book that Evo recommended I check out called I Zombie. And that book, not really for everyone, is very, very gruesome. But uh, I enjoy it. And if you like zombies and, you know, gruesome stuff, but also really good storytelling with human emotions and and everything that people are going through with their daily struggles, uh, he's really nailed it again uh, with iZombie. So, uh, talking more with Evo, it sounds like uh, Hughes actually got film rights going for these books. He's independently published them on Kindle. And with the interview you can watch right here with uh, Evo Terra and Jeff Moriarty on their um, Books and Brews Google Hangout, which happens every single Monday at about 6, 6.30 p.m., I think it's about 30 minutes long, um, but they record it. But uh, in this interview, Hugh talks about how basically it was a complete uh, luck that Wool took off like it did. He wrote it as a serialized uh, set of stories, published them out, you know, a couple of books at a time, and wasn't even really paying attention to it. He was marketing other projects that he was working on, and Wool kind of just took off on its own. Um, I found it through the Kindle uh, app store or bookstore when I was searching for some different books to go on a trip. Went to the sci-fi section. I think it was number one or it was in the top ten. Regardless, it was six bucks. It had a whole bunch of popular ratings. So I went ahead and grabbed that and absolutely no regrets on that six dollars spent. Very well spent. Very good read. Couldn't put it down. Um, Check out Hugh, like I said, check out Evo and Jeff at ePublis Unum. It's pretty cool. Uh, they're just helping writers become writers. And, um, you know, isn't that the dream that we all want to have is quit our day jobs and just write awesome fiction? Well, those guys are making it happen for people, so go check them out. Uh, we've got some wind going on in Phoenix today. I don't know if you can hear all that racket, but uh, it's very dusty here, so stay indoors if at all possible. And other than that, you know, I've got the email right there. Let me know. Have you read Hugh's book? Did you read Wool or Shift or I Zombie? What did you think of them? Do you have other independent authors that I should be checking out? I really do uh, love finding good books. I like science fiction, I like regular fiction, I like nonfiction. So, you know, throw it at me. Let me know what you got. The comments are down below here as well. Other than that, tomorrow is Tuesday. I will see you there. Rock and roll.